On this episode of Bev Nerd, I'm trying Dave's Insanity Corn Gourmet Microwave Popcorn. Ooh, the hottest popcorn in the universe. Up next on Bev Nerd. Hey everybody, welcome to season three premiere of Bev Nerd Podcast. I'm your host Jason, the Bev Nerd Coleman. This episode 130, finally the first episode of 2013. It's like halfway through January. I do apologize. We've had some uh, things um, go down at the beginning of the year, but we're back and we're in for the long haul of 2013. What way better to start off things with a bang? I'm sorry, a pop with Dave's Insanity Corn Gourmet Popcorn. Now, if you're not familiar with Dave's Insanity, uh, they're a line of gourmet hot sauces. Um, I found this with much uh, surprise at the Old Farmer's Almanac store for $3.50. Uh, you can find it on their website, I think, for $2.50. So, anyways, let's open this up. I'm sure this is going to smell brilliant. <coughs> Woo! Just smelling, the, just smelling the package itself is spicy. Oh, it smells like cayenne pepper. Okay. Let's um, check this out. Yellow popcorn, uh, soybean oil, salt, pepper, spices, natural and artificial flavorings. Anyways, um, I'm going to go stick this in the microwave and uh, we'll be right back. This episode of Bev Nerd Podcast is sponsored today by Amazon. Amazon.com, the world's largest online retailer. So if you go to BevNerd.com and click the Amazon banner at the top of the page, then shop away. We get uh, fractions of pennies for that, and they go a long way to maintaining the show quality and things of that nature. Okay, I'm back. I've popped the uh, Insanity Popcorn. Uh, here's a shot of it. Uh, yeah, that definitely looks like very spicy popcorn. It's kind of scary looking. I see all sorts of uh, spices, uh, pepper. It's red in color for some of the uh, more seasoned pieces. This is going to be interesting. Anyways, let's try it. Nothing yet. Well, watch me. I'm going to really screw myself over. Yep, the popcorn itself tastes pretty good. Um, I actually didn't burn the popcorn, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yep, actually this is, um, it's getting there. It's like a, a low rolling uh, heat scale, I think. It starts off like, oh, okay, this is cool, and then it all of a sudden it starts, there's the heat, and it's just slowly rising. But however, I like spicy things, so maybe this is just like just the right amount of um, hotness to where it's not melting my face off, but I do get to enjoy the taste of it and the popcorn itself. But uh, <coughs> in a minute, I think I am going to need some water or a glass of milk or something. This is good. I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted this to really whoop my butt, just for comedic purposes. But however, this is a this is a nice thing of popcorn. If you like spicy stuff at all, I'd highly recommend this because it brings the heat, but not to not so much to where you can't enjoy eating it. So this is good. I like this a lot. It's good too because instead of like buttery popcorn, it's maybe um, you know it didn't have like the uh, nutrition facts on it, but. I don't think this could this could possibly have less calories than something like movie theater butter microwave popcorn because it's not really butter flavor at all. It really is just like popcorn and spices and the heat. This is actually starting to burn a little bit, but uh, my nose is starting to run, so that means it is doing its job. And when I talk, the the sheer heat off my breath on my tongue is hurting, so that's that's a thing, and that's fun. But as far as like. From a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like unbearably hot and 1 being like mild, I would probably give this like a 6 or 7. Um, uh, yeah, if I eat this whole thing it might hurt. So, but as far as the Bevner snack rating on this, I would give this, um, this, will give, this will receive an A from me. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't really want it to be hotter than what it is because I am enjoying it. It is providing heat. And if it was any hotter, I probably wouldn't like it. So it is a, it is a good blend of spice on the on the popcorn. But 
that's my review of Dave's Insanity Corn Gourmet Popcorn. Um, check them out at davesgourmet.com or find them in stores like Farmer's Almanac and um, other places. I'm sure you can find it if you look hard enough. Um, if I can find a link to it, I'll leave it in the show notes. Yeah, if you can see, I'm starting to get a little fidgety. Um, this is getting pretty hot, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. So if you want more episodes of me trying snacks or sodas, go to bevnerd.com. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash bevnerd. Ah, that feels good. Uh, on Twitter and um, <coughs> uh, Instagram, I'm at bevnerd. And we're now on Pinterest, uh, so pinterest.com slash bevnerd. If you want to send me an email, it's bevnerd at gmail.com. Um, if you're into anime or gaming at all and you live in Atlanta or the South, you might want to check out momocon.com. It's a convention we're going to. Oh, ew, goodness. Mm. It's starting to really hurt my face, so I'm trying to wrap it up. Anyways, it's a uh, convention in March 8, 9, and 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Hilton. We're going to have a BevNerd sampling table and a panel on Saturday. Ooh, that's really hot now. Wow, that was worth it. That was very good. Um, and we're going to have sampling stuff like uh, aloeic organic aloe vera drink and coke and energy and some very, very more stuff. From BevNerd.com, I'm Jason Coleman. Bye. Oh, I need some water.